from $20 million market cap to $50 billion. You don't see that very often. When we created Gold Corp, one of the largest gold mining companies in the world, one of our acquisitions was the Red Lake Mine here, it produced a lot of gold, very high grade gold, and helped make Gold Corp a $50 billion market cap company uh, by 2011. It took us 10 years to build that, but Red Lake Mine was one of the most important acquisitions we made. The Red Lake Gold Camp is a storied place for good reason. They have been mining very high grade gold here for hundreds of years. It starts with the rocks. Red Lake has an incredible history of long life, high grade deposits. When I first visited this project, it was back in 2014, the predecessor company came in and saw the opportunity that there's still a bunch of high grade gold in the ground. They dove into that opportunity. They defined the gold in the ground. They built the mill that you can see around me and they literally stumbled at the 99 yard line. And that's where West Red Lake Gold Mines is picking up the project. The energy that's been, been put into West Red Lake now, the transaction to acquire the Madsen mine, it's completely transformative. It's hard to share my true thoughts because people will think I'm crazy. The 47 square kilometer land package that West Red Lake acquired with this property is a buffet of opportunity in an area where exploration had been neglected with the right approach and the time that West Red Lake is willing to take to develop this property, I think there's nothing but endless opportunity to grow this mine in the surrounding area. Long term, our plan is to do a number of engineering studies and then I plan for the restart of this operation and bring it back into production. When we acquired the Madsen Mine, we understood the management was vitally important to the success of this project. And that's why we brought on Shane Williams. He understands underground mining, uh, and the complexities of underground mining, and he has a track record to prove it. Prior to this, I spent seven years with Eldorado Gold, building and operating mines all over the world, including Turkey, Greece, and the Lamac project in Quebec. That operation today continues to be one of the best performing assets for Eldorado Gold. We took the project from early stage exploration all the way into operation in an 18 month period, which was a very similar restart to what we're planning to do here. Just a couple of years ago, the value of this mine and its entire operation was 10 times higher than it's being valued today. And I believe that with Shane and his operating team, we can recreate that kind of value. This mine was valued at 1.2 billion in the last cycle. I don't see any reason why we can't achieve that value again as is but we've added the West Red Lake properties that were existing, and there's, there's plans to do more. There's very few precedents for being able to pick up a high-grade resource in a storied gold camp with a brand new mine built. Acquisitions like the Madsen Mine don't happen. In my entire career, I've never seen an acquisition this attractive. The quality of the infrastructure here is absolutely perfect. It's first class, it's brand new. You couldn't create this today with, you know, with less than 700 million. It would take you years, probably a decade. It's like buying a new car. You can walk into it and you have that new car smell. That's what this mill feels like. When a new mine fails, it's because there's an unfixable thing, right? The gold mineralization, the gold, you can't actually pull it out of the rocks because of the way that the chemistry is, something like that. But here there is no unsolvable problem. There was just money issues. There was some approach issues. Those things are solvable. It's very rare an opportunity where you have all the infrastructure in place, a lot of underground development, a mill in place, water treatment plant, permits in place, a lot of the key elements of what you want to build a successful operation. The very first thing that I noticed when West Red Lake Gold came here was their enthusiasm. And I, I just love that because enthusiasm breeds enthusiasm. And I'm going to tell you, this has been the best job I've ever had in my life. I had several family members that worked at the original Madsen Mine when I was growing up as a kid. I'm just very excited to be part of the success of this mine. So you've got great geology, and you also have a dedicated and experienced workforce. And those are critical elements to operating any kind of mining operation. The most important part is having someone that has the vision to take it to the next level. We know the gold's here. It's just where the high grade is. And with Frank's vision, I think you're gonna find it. We're looking to make new discoveries. We're focused on growth and exploration as a company. 
We're aligned on that mission at all levels of management. Madsen Deposits is a typical Archaean or Agenic gold deposit, a high-grade system. We get about three million ounces just on this one deposit. And then we have another million ounces a little bit further north from here. This could be immensely valuable, but we're seeing very obvious synergies that could exist between our recently acquired Madsen mine and then our Rowan mine target, which currently hosts over 800,000 ounces at 9.2 grams per ton gold. Typically, grades increase with depth. We already know we have high-grade mineralization exposed at surface, down to levels of 450 meters. But what we're also seeing is that grades are increasing and thickness of veins are also increasing with depth at the Rowan mine site. The potential here is to create a mining operation that mines from a number of different deposits in this camp using the Matson mill. And I've done this five times in my life. You start with one mine and you slowly, through strategic and accretive acquisitions and an understanding of the capital markets and understanding the M&A, you build it bigger. What Frank has done time and time again is focus on his core competencies, which is resources. And he's built many a mines and many a, a, a billion dollar company so far. I do not want to see West Red Lake stop at just this one mine, where we can slowly build this to, you know, many hundreds of thousands of ounces, if not a million ounces a year produce it. That's my objective. The fact that there's a historical track record that Frank has done in raising capital and finding mines. We're well on our way from where it stands here to make this a very successful company. You have a mine and a resource that has prolific geographical characteristics. But more importantly, you've got the goods. You've got everything here that you need to operate a gold mine. From start to finish, from crushing to smelting. And you know, it's all about execution in this business. We know what we're doing, We've done it before, and this gives us a much better platform than I've ever had before to create a major gold mining company. The key lesson I've learned from building mining companies over the last several decades is this. Back a great management team with a great asset, invest early, and be patient. Once the market understands that we're gonna be a, a gold producer with cash flow and a strategy to grow it bigger, that's what I think will ignite uh, West Red Lake Mine. You're gonna move the needle you want to be at the forefront of that early stage company. That's where the real money's made.